Welcome back to online learning at CUNY. In this section, we will go over some basic technology proficiency skills needed to be successful in online learning. First and foremost, realize that it is important to keep track of various username and passwords associated with you as a student at CUNY. You have your CUNY campus email, your CUNY first ID, which is how you access grades, sign up for classes, and see your financial information. Finally, your Blackboard login credentials are derived from your CUNY First login. For example, if your CUNY First username is john.smith22, your login username will be john.smith22 at login.cuny.edu. The password for Blackboard will be the same as your CUNY First password. Please note that your CUNY First password and therefore your Blackboard password change every three months. So make sure to keep track of these and your password hint answers in case you need to reset them. As an online student, your primary means of contact with instructors is your CUNY campus email. If you haven't set up your CUNY campus email or need any help with any of your user IDs, report to your on-campus support center. Next, the primary means of contribution in Blackboard will be through the Blackboard user interface. You will use this interface to submit assignments and participate in interactive tools. It is highly recommended that you use a word processor to type and save submissions offline and copy and paste into Blackboard. In fact, some instances you may be required to add an attachment, in which case this is a good habit to practice. Lastly, here are a few additional skills that are important to have in an online course. Good organization. Make sure to keep class resources and files appropriately named on your computer or cloud storage. Ability to search. If you aren't sure how something works, whether technically in Blackboard or content in a course, the internet probably has the answer. The ability to use search tools effectively can help you find the answers to many questions. Time management. Online interactions occur on your time. It's important to set aside enough time in a week to complete any and all tasks required in an online course. After completing and passing the quiz in this section, proceed to section three, using Blackboard.